What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the Oppo Find. This is a 1080p pretty awesomely spec phone. Let's dig in, check it out, see if it's something you want to pick up for the next few years. All right, so here is the box for the Oppo Fine. Don't look at it this way, you'll be boxing the Odo. Uh, it's pretty nondescript cardboard. There's a lot of awesome specs uh, packed in this guy, but I'll run it through as we unbox it. So we'll go ahead and pull this handy open tab. Kind of reminds me of the Kindle packaging. Very eco-friendly. And we've got that open, I think. The tab has officially been pulled, and we've got the box open. Boom. We've got some stuff from Queester, a screen protector. That was nice. Uh, here is the phone. It looks to be on the big side. Oh, it's a box. I was going to say this is a giant phone. Well, that makes much more sense. We were commenting on how big the box was. This looks like a little more modern and fancy. Uh, and certainly it is very fancy. So here is the Oppo Find 5. And this is a metal box, which you don't see very often at all. 32 gigabyte configuration. We got some stuff uh, about the Oppo Find. Let's go ahead and I think this slides out or opens. It's magnetic. Well, this is one of the fancier boxes I've, I've ever opened. I'll definitely give them credit for that. Look at that. Boom. It's all magnety and nice. It takes a lot to impress me with boxes nowadays, but uh, folks at Oppo definitely did. Uh, so here is the five inch phone with a full 1080p resolution. So that is 1920 by 1080 with a 441 PPI. Man, on first blush, this phone feels awesome in the hand. Uh, very curious how it's going to perform. Uh, pull that off, boom. Nice and glossy and looking all fancy and whatnot. Uh, so it is an IPS screen with a full lamination technology. It's OGS. It is running Android, though I'm not sure what version this is shipping with. That's been updated, I believe, a few times since, so we'll turn it on uh, and check that out. In fact, let's go ahead and turn it on now and see if it's got enough juice. Uh, power button's on the left-hand side. Not used to that at all. Um, so it's got two gigs of RAM, being powered by the Qualcomm 8064. That's a quad-core 1.5 gigahertz chip, so this sucker's got plenty of power. Two gigs of RAM, either in 16 or 32 gig configuration. It looks like the folks at Oppo sent us the big daddy, 32 gigs. No external storage, though, uh, in here. And also, it doesn't appear to be any sort of removable battery. Um, so you are stuck with what they give you. Uh, camera, it has one. Uh, it's a 13 megapixel sensor that, of course, can shoot 1080p video. And uh, there's a front megapixel camera, or front camera as well, Bluetooth 4.0. The battery in here is a 2,150 milliamp hour fare. It's got DLNA and NFC. Uh, from a height standpoint, it is is 5.58 inches or 141.8 millimeters by 2.71 inches by 68.8 and 0.35 inches or 8.86 millimeters and it weighs 5.82 ounces or 165 grams. We'll say the screen looks really nice. Um, Alright, so let me show you what lurks inside of this awesome box. I will force myself to push that phone off to the side for just a minute. We will pull up this little Oppo tab or that time it says Odo. There you go, Oppo tab. And inside we've got a little book. If it says fingertips, I'm just gonna say that's a little too uh, coincidental. So there's a SIM removal tool and a little Oppo book. And it looks like a some NFC tag, that's kinda nice. Uh, so just a little bit of information uh, on the phone. We've got a very familiar looking wallwort. A uh, little white guy, it says, I gotta make sure I show that right, Oppo. And then there's where your plug goes. We've got a cord, this is just standard micro USB, and we've got some headphones. So, it's actually pretty nice looking headphones. Pull them out there and see what they look like uh, with a microphone and volume up and down on them. Push them back. And that is all you're going to have in the box. Now back to the phone. Um, let's see how we unlock it. it. appears to be that way. Uh, so the tour here on the bottom, we've got three capacitive buttons here. We've got a menu button, we've got a home button, and we've got a back button for going back. Uh, on the left hand side, there's where your SIM card is going to live. It appears to be micro SIM. We've got your power button uh, and lock screen button. We've got a very nicely defined volume up and down there on the right hand side. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Uh, back here, it feels like it is plastic, but almost has a metal feel to it. Uh, and then there is your micro USB charging port and noise canceling microphone. Um, so let's see what version of Android we are running here. It looks to be a relatively skinned uh, version. Go ahead and go into what I believe is settings. And let's see what we got about the phone. Let's see what we are running here. 
Well, that's sort of a nice screen that'll show you everything uh, about the phone. So there's the model number, Android version 4.1.1. Uh, hopefully we'll see an update to 4.1.2 uh, by the time I get this guy connected to Wi-Fi and everything. Uh, overall, this is a really pretty phone. Let's take a look at some of the applications that are built into it. I can certainly see what the UI looks like. Doesn't look like they did much um, from getting away from stock Android as far as additional application. Let's see what they did from the widget standpoint uh, here. If I long press, if I get any widget options. Go home. Mm, there we go. Uh, so we've got all kinds of OPPO S to widgets right there. So clock, music, contacts, photos, and other kind of goodness. Um, so something interesting about this, this is a sort of a similar spec phone to the Droid DNA, uh, but as opposed to using uh, Beats Audio, this used something kind of similar actually was found in Rolls Royce cars. It's called Dirac HD. So very curious to see uh, how the audio sounds coming out of this guy. So this has been a very first look at the Oppo Find 5. Of course, we'll do a full review and let you guys know what we think about this phone. But on first blush, it feels really substantial uh, and definitely has a premium feel to it. Anything you guys want to see though, be sure to let us know and leave your comments down below. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Please give this video a thumbs up. We'd most definitely appreciate it. I uh, will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.